we've all had dreams of complete three-dimensional freedom. I remember as a young boy walking to, to school and sort of, you know, wondering if there would ever be an aircraft where you could just jump in and be able to take off vertically and fly wherever you wanted to. Did some calculations with the current technology and uh, realized at that point that electric VTOL was not only possible, but was practical. On October 5, 2011, the world witnessed what is considered the first fixed-wing eVTOL flight ever. After this first successful flight, Marcus Lang, a retired mechanical engineer, realized the huge potential of this technology. He decided to pursue his childhood dream and develop a personal aerial vehicle. Eleven years later, and after more than 60,000 test miles flown in 40 different increasingly improved aircraft, the Black Fly is ready for mass adoption. The development of this aircraft was not an easy task. Three events influenced the particular design of this strange-looking personal aircraft, set to disrupt the transportation industry. This story all began in a small town in Canada, in the summer of 2009. After selling his manufacturing firm and retiring, Marcus pursued his love of aeronautics. At age 18, he obtained a recreational pilot's license and never stopped thinking about flight. He began researching aircraft design and realized that converging technologies had the potential to revolutionize air travel. Everything from batteries, electric motors, controllers, and carbon fiber technology had reached a point where it was possible to produce an all-electric vertical takeoff and landing personal ultralight aircraft. This realization inspired him. At the time, the conventional wisdom on vertical takeoff and landing vehicle design was around two main categories a multicopter configuration or a wing-type configuration. Multicopters are widely known for their simplicity, but they have a major drawback. This type of aircraft has no wings and lacks cruise efficiency. On the other hand, wing-type eVTOLs rely on complex tilting mechanisms to articulate the engines or the wings in order to achieve the transition from hover to forward flight. Marcus came up with a revolutionary design that combines the simplicity of a multicopter and the efficiency of a fixed-wing aircraft. In his configuration, the wings, located as far apart as possible at a 45-degree angle, act as support for eight powerful electric motors. The first aircraft uh, was built in the, the basement of my home, just outside of Fort Worth. Um, we really didn't give it a name because it was just a proof of concept vehicle. And uh, it was made with uh, very simple materials, uh, uh, styrofoam from Home Depot and carbon composite uh, that was purchased uh, from a boat uh, supply uh, outfit and uh, bamboo chopsticks to basically hold the wings onto the fuselage. Although simple in design, this aircraft configuration is heavily dependent on high-performance electric motors and sophisticated control systems, but none of this was available at the time. The motors were off the shelf um, and they were heavily modified uh, for the vehicle because they didn't have the performance requirement uh, to actually make the vehicle functional. The batteries were uh, purchased in the United States. They were very expensive at that time. Um, and the control system was uh, designed and built by myself and uh, programmed by myself as well. Marcus innovated on electric motors, control systems, batteries, and carbon fiber technologies. I think our house became a factory. Uh, the basement was used for basically doing all the structures work. The kitchen were basically used for manufacturing motors. We used to bake the motors in the, uh, in the oven. Boy, would that stink. <laughs> on October 5, 2011, Marcus flew, for the first time, his proof-of-concept prototype with excellent results. I found myself at the end of our driveway. Uh, my friends and neighbors were behind a barrier of cars that we had set up, and I figured just like in skiing, I'll do a skidding turn in front of them. The uh, edge of the wing contacted the lawn, and I still recall sort of going, hmm, this isn't going to end well, but uh, the propulsion systems reacted so fast that after landing at that point, I realized how incredible this technology was. The flight was so successful that he decided to continue developing the technology and operate in stealth mode. Years later, 
one of the world's richest men would hear about this revolutionary flying car project and would decide to help Marcus in his plan of democratizing three-dimensional personal travel. I think we're all here because we share a deep sense of optimism for about the potential of technology to improve people's lives and the world as part of that. Uh, we should be building great things that don't exist, right? In 2014, Google's co-founder, Larry Page, acquired the startup and moved its operations to California. The company reorganized as Opener and continued with the development of Black Fly. To accomplish its mission, the Opener team knew it needed to create a vehicle that was affordable to the majority of the public and with competitive performance. I think the most unique thing is that I can be a, an operator, you can be an operator. Anyone who is over the age of 18, which is our kind of limit, is able to learn in the course of uh, two days and a, a few hours of simulation how to safely fly this aircraft. So that is something that is exceptionally novel and really incredible to be able to give that type of experience to regular people. One of the big advantages of ultralight aircraft is that you don't have to be a certified pilot to be able to fly them. But ultralights must meet a few requirements. The Federal Aviation Regulation Part 103 established weight exclusions for aircraft with water landing capabilities. The amphibious capable classification gives opener an extra 90 pounds to be added to the empty weight of black fly and still fit into the ultralight category. It also simplifies the design, eliminates the need for landing gear, and allows the aircraft to operate easily from grass, water, asphalt, and snow. Still awesome. Marcus Lang has pioneered a new age in man flight with the development of Black Fly. His unique approach has created an all-electric VTOL ultralight aircraft that has truly advanced light aircraft design. His invention aspires to liberate the public from the restrictions of two-dimensional road travel by opening up a new world of three-dimensional flight. Start the project because I want one. They're going to be going on sale in the very near future, and I'm going to get the first one off the line. <laughs> 